Good morning. My name is Joe Bostic, and on this episode of Coffee Talk, we are going to be talking about probationary recurrency training. So to start us off, we're going to talk about the new process uh, that we're going to roll out. Even though it's been an older process, we have revamped it a little bit, and we're going to have Captain Jessel and uh, Captain Eaton talk about the changes. So with that being said, first we're going to talk about the actual evaluation process. So Captain Jessel, why don't you tell us about the evaluation process? We're going to be bringing the six month probationary employees up and we're going to evaluate them on several skills, including the ladder, the hose pool, we're going to do forcible entry, and we're going to do a search and rescue. And the biggest change that we've done is the search and rescue is going to be a three person instead of a two person with the wall position not being evaluated. We're going to uh, evaluate the probationary employee on their skills on how they do as in the, uh, the team effort with the search and rescue. And then the 11 month is really, there's no big change on the 11 month. The 11 month uh, PRT is gonna be a, a company drill consisting of an engine and a rescue with the entire crew. Okay, and then for class 90 on, class 90s in the Recruit Academy right now, what's We're the super change? excited about that change, Chief. Right. Class 90, we are gonna on the 11 month we're actually going to incorporate a EMS portion of that. So there will be a crew that will have to do some type of uh, EMS portion that's going to be incorporated into the company drill. Awesome. And then Cece, why don't you tell us about the scheduling? Well, um, the scheduling is being like, we've been trying to set it up in a way, like in a trial phase, trying to do the best for all the crews and battalion chiefs around for the six month um, we're going to schedule the crews coming to at 7 30 in the morning. So instead of reporting to their stations, they come here like as what, you know, they report here for ACLS. They will come here and we will be doing their um, skills. It will be the skills that Captain Jessel mentioned, you know, the hose pull, the ladder, the search and rescue and the forcible entry. And um, after they're complete that, they will be returning to their stations. Something that we're going to change starting with class 90 is that we would schedule one probationary firefighter per battalion so we don't deplete the um, you know the crews uh, on the stations mm -hmm. with that said because we're going to just do one probationary per battalion it might take several blocks now instead of everybody coming at 7 30 like we were doing we're going to probably stagger them every two hours to come pov as i said they will come pov because they come do the assessment and they will go back to their stations for the 11 month um I'm super excited that I was able, we were able to work the schedule so the battalion, the commanding staff can come one day to assess all their uh, probationary firefighters. They don't have to be coming back and forth on different days. That's the, the ultimate call. Um, I will be setting the schedule and I will communi be communicating with the commanding staff e either via email or phone call, trying to nail down the units that will be coming for, for the training. Uh, the, the drill will be a multi-company drill, so we, we will be needing two engines and two rescues per battalion. And um, we, we will rotate the crews as, as, you know, as they come. Another thing is that I will, I will, I will be communicating with the command staff is uh, making sure the presence to be able to run the, the drill as the IC so they can see their crews perform, the probationary firefighters to see them perform. We're going to just tell them that we're going to have to maybe have at morning and afternoon sessions. It, definitely for the six months, we're gonna we might have to add the afternoon session since we can only do one probationary fire per, per battalion. We're gonna attempt to do for the eleven months like a morning session, maybe until to one in the afternoon, if possible. If not possible, we will run uh, throughout the afternoon. Okay. So also um, on tele staff for the six month, I'm placing the probationary firefighters on training leave, and um, and that's when I'm gonna have the brackets with the time that they are supposed to come here. I will be sending emails with the whole schedule to probationary firefighters and the command staff so they are aware of it. And for the 11 month, same thing, I will be sending an email with the whole schedule for all, all the crews coming. And on the tele staff, on the training calendar, I will be putting a temporary holes on the units uh, of the battalions that are supposed to come. So I'll just talk about the documentation process. So all this documentation is going to happen. Uh, we're going to, uh, Captain Jessel and Captain Eaton are going to evaluate on a form and give them numbers, maybe between one and four to see how they performed. And we're going to forward all that information out to the command staff, right? Correct. Right. So we're gonna give that information to the district chief and the battalion chief and, and the EMS captain. 
and we're going to have them look at it so they can see how their probationary firefighter performed on the sixth month. Exactly. Right. So really what this is, is just a tool, um, a piece of the puzzle for how the probationary firefighter is doing for their for their year. And uh, the way that we're doing it now, we're getting away from the minimum standard checkbox society, if you will. And we're really doing an evaluation and giving that information to operations who are in charge of, of these people. So the, the process has been revamped and I think it's going to be a better way for, for operations to, um, to watch over their people and make sure that uh, if they do show any weaknesses, they can help them train in the field on, on what they can improve upon. And as a training division, we're always here to help. Right. 100%. So the as the PRT coordinators, uh, the probationary firefighters, they have an open door policy. They can come to them all year long and they can be that sounding board for them. So I hope this helps uh, any confusion that's in the field about how the PRT is going. And as always, train hard, compete at training. And I guess I am super excited as well to deliver this message. Thank you. <laughs>